I could walk away from this tomorrow, the Prime Minister tells the Guardian newspaper. But for those MPs who claimed expenses they were not entitled to, paying them back and walking away may no longer be an option. The police are involved. So how many are being looked at and who are they? Well, the Met will only say it's a small number and they won't mention names. But the Bury North MP David Chater has himself admitted he's one of them, facing possible criminal charges for continuing to make expenses claims totaling £13,000 on a mortgage he had already paid off. Labour peer Baroness Udin has confirmed that she's another, the police probing whether her expense claims on an empty Maidstone flat amount to criminal fraud. And Scunthorpe MP Elliot Morley claimed £16,000 expenses on a mortgage he'd already cleared, something police will certainly have looked at. This is so sensitive that I suspect that the police have moved every way very closely, uh, gathering the evidence that they have, putting that before the Director of Public Prosecutions personally, who will have considered it personally, and given the police the advice about what steps to take. This is the officer who's in charge, Temporary Assistant Commissioner Janet Williams. She's ex-Special Branch, and her team of detectives have proved themselves highly effective in the past at catching those whose lifestyles have been financed by ill-gotten gains. Today, the Daily Telegraph prints a glossy supplement recapping the story so far and making new accusations about MPs' council tax. They have been putting in claims for far more council tax than they are actually paying and clearly pocketing a profit as a result. Whether this is deliberate or a mistake, each MP will have to explain. But I think people will be surprised by the scale to which this has been going on. The Telegraph specifically names Labour MP Eric Ilsley, who apparently claimed back £10,000 for council tax, even though the actual tax on his Bansi property was less than 4000 with revelations like that still emerging after more than a month of scandal, the police may yet have to widen the scope of their inquiries. Paul Brennan, Sky News.